Hey folks, hello and welcome to the Divi Machine video documentation. My name is Roby, and today I'll be showing you how to create a post type, which is the first step to building your dynamic Divi website using Divi Machine and advanced custom fields. You'll find other great Divi Machine resources on our documentation site at help.diviengine.com, which will also be linked in the description of this video. Now, if you get stuck with more complex challenges, definitely feel free to reach out to our amazing support team and they'll help you find a solution. Now, before we get started, let's make sure that we are updated to the latest versions of Divi Machine, the Divi Theme, and WordPress. Now, with that all sorted, let's get into it. Alrighty, so in the previous video, I showed you how to download, install, and activate Divi Machine as well as advanced custom fields. So definitely please follow that video if you've not already done so. Now continue building by going to the Divi engine and add edit post types from the WP admin dashboard of your Divi website. For this video series, we're gonna be building a car listing website. And so I'll call my first custom post type cars and then I'll click on an empty area of my screen and you'll see that it auto populates fields like the slug. Now let's walk through the various settings you see here. You're in the general settings area. I have the option of changing my post type name, which I already have set as cars, the slug, which is the text that comes up after my domain name when the custom post is being viewed by our customers. Now I can also write a short description, but for right now, I'm gonna leave these at the defaults as they already are. Okay, so you're in the post visibility area. I've got the options of making this post public or not, or whether I wanna show it, you're in the admin sidebar or not. Now remember, the admin sidebar is the column here on the left-hand side of my WP admin dashboard. We've got other links that go to posts or pages or the WordPress settings, the Divi settings, and so forth. Now, we can also change the icon that we see here in the admin sidebar for our cars post type. Now, I want to find something that's a little more relevant to cars. So what I can do is click the dash icon name button here, and you'll see it opens this window. Now you can scroll up and down for whatever icon you'd like to choose. I'm gonna click on this one, and then I'll copy this icon name right here. And now that I've got that, I'm gonna go back and paste that in the appropriate field. Now I have an icon that looks a little bit more like a car. So with the rest of the settings here, I'll leave it as is, and we'll cover a little bit more in depth in a later stage in this tutorial series. You're in the advanced options area. I'm gonna be leaving the settings mostly as is. By default, WordPress will include the custom post taxonomies, categories, and tags that I make with the taxonomies found in the default post area. However, I want to create my own custom taxonomies that are separate from each other. Therefore, I will leave the first two boxes checked and the rest of the settings just as I found them. And in the labels options area here, I'll leave everything at the default. Now, when I publish my new car's custom post, I will see the new post type in the admin bar on the left-hand column right here of my screen. Now, when I click on it, we'll see that I have no cars, but don't worry, we're gonna be covering that real soon. And that is it, folks. I really hope this video helped you better understand how to add your first custom post type to start building your dynamic Divi website using Divi Machine and advanced custom fields. And again, if this video did not cover what you were looking for, definitely check out our documentation at help.diviengine.com for more text and videos which will help you master Divi Machine. As always, definitely contact our incredible support team with more complex challenges that might come up and they will do their best to help you out. With that, this is Roby from the Divi Engine team. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.